And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2020 Japan Osaka at the Edian Arena in Osaka. In the red corner, Fukashi is taking on, in the blue, Jin Hirayama. I'm Brian. And I'm Ross. Boom. Let's get into this. So, we've got uh, Fukashi here. He's slightly taller guy by two centimeters and slightly younger by one year. But both young, both very evenly matched. That's right, yeah, this should be a real good one. Fukashi trying to get back in the winner's circle. He always, you know, he's, he's, he's fought in all sorts of different organizations, all different rule sets. He's good with the elbows, he's good with the clinch, and you know, he wants to finish out his career with the belt here in K1, and so that is what he's coming to do. Big aspirations, but he feels he's got everything he needs to back it up, and here he goes. Yeah, he's got a real good boxing skill set. Beautiful textbook jab, absolutely beautiful, very tight, in and out, using lateral movement, beautiful stepping in. And his opponent, uh, Hirayama Jin, is well trying to get back in the winner's circle, so both these guys are going to be real hungry to pick up a win here on the big stage. I'm loving the work from Jin early on here, the way he's just, he's just a slightly more mobile, slightly more springy. Yeah. And uh, just looking at those angles, very compact when he throws too. He actually looks really good here. He's floating, he's moving, he's, you know, floating on the outside, but he's not getting caught on the ropes. No, no, he's not. He's not making that mistake. Really beautiful, beautiful work with that jab right now. But yeah, he wants to stay away from those ropes. Fukashi yeah. coming in with one two of his own there. When both these guys are duking it out with the, with the, the fists here, for the oh, there's a kick, but uh, yeah, it's rare to see, um, especially Fukashi start with the hand so strong and not throw the kick, but there it was. Yeah, it's all boxing early on here, and, and dare I say we've got a battle of the jabs beginning. Very nice exchange, very nice. Ooh. Yep, well, I think, you know, Fukashi, if he sees that Hirayama is, is so light and loose and mobile, he's going to need to use that low kick to shut that, shut that motion down. Otherwise, if he overextends, he'll get hit with a counter. Like right there, yep, yeah. needs to be careful. He's working with those counters very well, just being to find his rhythm there. <laughs> Tying his man up, waiting for the ref to break him. Look at the way he comes mm. forward, just stalking his prey. He but does, yeah. Jin is very composed, he's not intimidated, and look, he's just popping that jab. He's more looking for a little bit of a counter himself now. He's just letting Fukashi get off first. Oh, there he was first though, and he landed. Yeah, Hirayama, real, real punch dominant here. Hardly going, hardly going with the kicks at all, but I think he's going to be looking for something like a, a pull counter, you know. Just yeah. take a, just create a little room, bam, and then come back with the right hand. I think he's definitely looking at making Fukashi walk in on the shot, and double some impact. And, um, and at the moment, Fukashi, he's, uh, he said, you want a box? Fine, we'll box. Ooh, Ooh. Yeah, that, the step back and back with the jab. It wasn't the right hand, but it was the jab, and it was from that slick footwork. Beautiful jab, yeah, power great. jab. He uh, stepped in behind that like a Trojan. Everything was behind it. Yeah, make a little motion back, load the back leg, bam, and then shoot that forward. Really, really smooth. He got his time. He got his counter and he doubled his impact, and uh, Fukashi was lucky. It was the end of the round. The end of the round. Well, here Yama's boxing is looking great right now. Absolutely. Very tight, very compact. His corner's got to be happy with that. Yeah. Well, in the, in the, the you know, what, what's going on in the head, heads of both of these guys right now, Fukashi's got to be really frustrated. Had a good round, was looking smooth, and just gets caught there at the end. And, uh, yeah, gets the round stolen. It's going to be interesting to see. And boom! There Ooh. it is. Straight back. Look at that. No ifs, no buts, just down. Boom. Yep. Beautiful. And that's going to be interesting how that's going to stick in Fukashi's head for the next round coming out here. I mean, yeah. is he going to be intimidated or is he going to feel that was a momentary slip and he just wants to get right back on it? Well, you know, he's a veteran, so I don't think he's going to come out and do anything too crazy. But uh, it's got to be real frustrating. And he does like to throw heat, heat, he likes to exchange close, so I have a feeling he's gonna just get back um, moving forward and putting the pressure on. I think you're right, and here he goes, here he goes. But Jin isn't letting anything disrupt his game plan. Yeah. He's keeping composed. Look at these combinations. We've got uppercuts, straights, body shots. 
The punch for Rice is beautiful. Yeah, really good. And then Fugashi doing a good job. He's he's accumulating some low kick damage there on uh, Hirayama, which is which is really good for him. Absolutely, it's hard when someone, you know, has such a variety of um, of punches coming at you any which way. You can only defend so many areas. You know, and mentally too, it's it's frustrating. You know, you get knocked down by a jab. Um, it's the lead shot. It's long. It's right in your face. You've got to be wary of that thing. Um, yeah, it's just it's, when someone catches you like, the, with, like that with the jab, it makes them feel so long and powerful. Absolutely. You know, in the back of his mind, he's probably thinking, you know, I was ahead of myself. I didn't have my feet underneath me. I was yep. just off balance. But still, it's, he's going to be thinking, what is everyone else thinking? Yeah. There's a lot that comes with that that he's carrying with him right now. Yeah, when you're, when you're getting stuck at the end of someone's front kick, at the end of their jab, it just makes it feel that much harder to get in there and reach them. It's just demoralizing. Those kicks he's landing really begin to have impact now. Look at yeah. Jin's left leg. You no, know, and this is, yeah, this is a little uh, chink in the armor of Hirayama. He needs to check these kicks. He should not be eating those. Yeah, he is eating too much now. He's relying too much on his boxing. Yep. And, um... And Fukashi has obviously said, fine, you know, I played it your way, now play it mine. Yeah, great, great strategy to get to the low kick here um, that Fukashi has. Well, and eating up the space so Hiriyama doesn't have the room to step back and then put him at the end of the punch because Fukashi is already right in there. Absolutely. Fukashi's boxing is phenomenal. I mean, he must have spent a long time studying the, uh, the pugilist specialists. It's, he's putting it to good work here. Yep. Moving in there, good punches, nice and patient, and then finishing with that low kick. He's really looking towards those uppercuts. And he's just using that jab. Not, he's not always looking to sting with that jab. He's just looking sometimes to set up a shot, find his going. Yeah, this is a tool in the tool kick to set up the real um, damaging blow, which is that low kick. And I don't know what Hirayama is thinking now. He is not checking that thing, and he needs to get on it. Absolutely, it's slipping away from him now. He had such a good first round, yeah. um, but he has, he's failed to adapt. He wants to keep it a boxing, and Fukashi has other ideas. You know, and the thing here with the judges is they are going to clearly see that his leg is hurt. Ooh, wow. Just at the end of the round again, a left oh. hook. Just when Fukashi was really imposing himself, it looked like he'd got over that first round. Bang. Wow. It's rare. <laughs> You know, I mean, the thing is, it's great skill by Hirayama. It's also bad luck by Fukashi. It's just, could it go any worse for him? That is so frustrating. I mean, it's the worst round in the world. You, you dig so deep, you work so hard, you, you spend so much energy, and you think, yeah, I've done well, just to lose it at the end, twice in a row. Yeah, yeah. Twice. What are the odds on that? It looked like a hook tie. I didn't see it well, but man, that is just the frustration. Fukashi going, can I... Can I buy a bucket, please? <laughs> There's that kick. It's really beginning to mark him up now. You're right. He has to start checking these See things. It. And he's not. Yeah. He's really not. That is just some grade A ground beef happening on the quad there of Puriyama, but still finding a home. Beautiful. Right on the chin. Look at that. That is textbook. Yes. That is textbook all for this. The thing that um, is going to be the most is Hirayama's got to feel a little bit hard done by. He's got knockdowns, he's happy, but he's probably thinking, why at the end of the round when I can't capitalize? Yep. Well, no, it's so true on the other side of the coin. And his leg is toast, man. That thing is roasted. Absolutely. He's paying for, for the earlier strategy of ignoring those. And again, still, he's eating them. He's Ugh. eating them. It hurts, it slows you down. It's going to make all those counters much harder to do. Mm. Yeah, he's got to stick the front kick. And, uh, you know, it's, and if he's not checking it by now, it's hard to imagine that he'll be checking it here in this round. He's just got to tough it out because Fukashi is going to come with the low kick. Absolutely. I think that's what he's decided to do. He's decided to say, okay, I've got to eat something tonight. I'm choosing this. Yeah, man. Okay, and I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to try and catch you when you're doing it. You know, Fukashi just needs to blow that thing clean off. Absolutely. Here we go again. Wow. wow. Straight down the pipe, He's beautiful jab. Little shots, they're just, they are almost imperceptible. They're blinking in and out of existence. Such tight boxing here from Hirayama. And Fukashi's got a high guard, but it's just not closed at the front. Yeah. It's open to straight shots. 
and Hirayama's taking no. full advantage. This is what happens. This is why the jab is so important. He established it strong and heavy in the first round. Everything comes after it. All of these setups, they come after getting your opponent spooked on the jab. Absolutely. It sets everything up. It is the beginning of everything. Look at this now. He's, he's, man. he's, he's just hanging in the trenches too because his leg is so exposed he's not checking but he's just not afraid and he's got great timing i mean fukashi has these moments where he resets and jin is right there he is right there for those moments oh yeah hirayama jin is looking awesome right now so compact so powerful very coordinated just coldly precise and efficient oh, and i can just that thing is just killing him too that leg his barren weight on that front leg is brutal, and he knows the kick's going to come. He's just, yeah, he's just decided, yep, I'm just going to take it. That's it, yeah. He's going to say, this is your best weapon. Ooh. I've decided it's not going to change what I do. I've got the resilience to absorb it, and I'm going to respond. Oh, my gosh. And Fukashi, that last leg kick he threw, it really bit in, too. But <laughs> Yeah. You saw him yeah, wince there. <laughs> yeah, my gosh. But look, you know, look at that. Ooh, look, 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 look. That leg is screaming at him, but he's not yeah. letting it change his mind. He's committed, yep. and he's going to see it for a beautiful right there. Yeah. Well, he's go got again. such such devastating weapons there, um, you know, hanging from his shoulders. He's just got to have the base. Oh, Fukashi's got to be thinking to himself, anyone else, anyone yeah. else would be hesitating here. Anyone else would be off their game plan yeah. with these kicks. But this guy's sticking in there. Fukashi perhaps should have changed up what he was doing earlier because you would have thought it worked. Ugh. It clearly hasn't. As much as a night cannot be your night, this is just not the night for Fukashi, man. Just, and it was all Hirayama's night. Really, really frustrating for Fukashi and just great performance for Hirayama there. Absolutely. His boxing was textbook. Um, he, never, he never got carried away. He stuck to the fundamentals and it, it paid off. Yep. Here we go. Looking clean Look and at his little sharp. Face. Boom. Now that, he changes the position of the jab, throws it from below. That's it. That's the blind spot. Out there. Yeah. Yeah, just shoots right up there. Didn't he have to, there. he just dropped his hand into that position. He didn't have to lower that much. He didn't have to really squat into that position. He didn't have to use his legs. He just drops the hand, boom, and then picks it up, bam, up the middle. It's beautiful. It's like a hybrid shot and it was well disguised. Well, and I'm sure Hirayama has already told his corner, get the ice packs ready. <laughs> get the ice packs ready, please. Oh, 100%. That leg is going to be <laughs> twice the size by the time the night comes around. Look at the way he's walking. It's a little bit full out. A little bit. Bring the wheelchair. Bring the crutches. Fukashi, bless him. He's walking around that ring thinking, well, what else could I do? I mean, who else's leg can stand up? I mean, the guy's Iron Man. Yes. I mean. Well, and he's going to literally probably need a bionic leg after this. <laughs> Great work, though. That is as good as he has looked. Really impressive. Yeah, very much so. Very much so. Fukashi's got to go back to the drawing board and think, yeah. did I just commit to, to something that's mm. not working for too long? It's just he's so heavy and committed, uh, especially with the long punches, stuck on the front foot just a little bit too much. And there, that, you know, it was a good kick, but that was just great timing and the sneakiest little shot. So sneaky. Oh, wow. You wouldn't have seen that coming. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the shots that he'd been using throughout the night, you wouldn't have thought that was in his skill set. Mm. No, beautiful. Well, there you have it. Here we are at the K1 World Grand Prix 2020 Japan Osaka at the Edian Arena in Osaka. Thank you. We'll see you next time.